Hello, and welcome to Mosquito Fleet Mondays, where we look at the prominent vessels in Puget Sound history. Today, we will be looking at the sternwheeler Bailey Gatsert. The Bailey Gatsert was built in Ballard, Washington in 1890. She was 177 feet long and rated at 276 tons, with a top speed of about 20 miles an hour. The ship was named after Mr. Bailey Gatsert, a prominent Seattle businessman and the first Jewish mayor of the city, serving a term as mayor in 1875 and 76. The Bailey Gatsert was first put into work on the Seattle to Tacoma run, a trip that she made in one hour and 45 minutes, and she quickly made a reputation for winning races and being one of the fastest boats on the Puget Sound. After only two years on this route, however, the steamer was transferred to the Columbia River. She operated on the competitive Portland to Astoria route, with fares being $1 or $1.50 round trip. In 1901, the Bailey Goutzer was moved upriver to run between Portland and the Dalles, leaving Portland at 7 a.m. and returning from the Dalles at 5 p.m. every day except Sundays, when excursion cruises were held. In this service, the Bailey Gatzert carried record crowds through the Columbia River Gorge in the summers, becoming famous enough that the Bailey Gatzert March was written for the ship. In 1907, the ship was remodeled and lengthened 17 feet to increase her capacity even further, carrying up to 625 passengers for excursions. 1918 saw the Bailey Gatzert return to service on the Puget Sound for the Puget Sound Navigation Company, led by Joshua Green. Wartime meant a heavy traffic increase to the Bremerton Naval Yard, and the Navy Yard route wanted another ship to handle the load. Bailey Gatzer was sponsored out, or widened, and had her bow cut short to accommodate an elevator for loading cars. After the alterations, the ship could handle between 25 and 30 cars of the time. Bailey Gatzer was one of the first ferries to carry cars on the Navy Yard route, but demand for automobile transportation quickly outstripped her capacity. The Bailey Gatzert was removed from service and turned into a floating machine shop for the Lake Union Dry Dock in 1930, where she was eventually scrapped. Thank you for listening, and be sure to come again next week when we look at the fabulous Flyer 